Welcome riders, we are in Atatha. Atatha, I think's how you say it. The hardest place to ride in the Sierra of Madrid. Been told two and a half hours up and 40 minutes down, the last cold beer's waiting. Let's go check it out and let's see if the Raid and Swoop and I survive. Okay guys, I'm not sure if we're walking up a downhill or what, but it is definitely hard going. Oh, it's super beautiful and uh, I've got the new Raiden Swoop and I haven't set it up tubeless yet. I'm looking at these rocks thinking hmm maybe one tube wasn't really sufficient for a 45 minute downhill with these rocks. Anyway, let's see how we go. Whew, it's hard work. And now you can have a look around. We've hit a fire track. So now we have another one hour and a half, two hours climbing. But you know, apparently it's going to be worth it. I think I need an electric bike. Bueno, estamos en la tope. We're here at the top with Mr. Santa Cruz Hightower. <laughs> Looking pretty sick. Look at that, guys. Let's see how that dynamic range works with the old GoPro 7 Black. Looks pretty awesome from here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I have a little bit of fear here. Oh yeah. Oh. Come on, don't fail me, Swoop. Well, it's pretty rocky, it's pretty slippery, it's pretty dusty, but I like it. I'm not sure the GoPro can show, but it's actually pretty steep. Yeah, it's all the end. Sí, es, 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 sí, me gusta. ¿Bien? ¿Más bien? Sí. Venga, pues. Cubierta no, pero yo voy bien. <risa> oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely rock country. A little bit of uphill, just taking the scenery. Look at that. Listen on the mountains at the top there. Beautiful. Ahora. ¿Recuerdas algo de historia? ¿Tú yo vas? Que va. Ya no me acuerdo nada. A mí esta no me suena tampoco. Muy bien. Oh shit. Jackie just told us he has no idea where we are and he's our guide for the day. Excellent. Gotta love that. Yeah, can't see shit. Okay, we just got fucking lost. Bloody lost, sorry. Let's edit that out. Jackie's crashed. <laughs> and we're back on route, I think. Mira esta vista. Vista is view in Spanish. Nice, Rilba! Way! But I done this star. Fuck!
This is proper natural trails here. Nothing man-made. Donde? Donde es? Pues no seguro donde está la el sendero. A ver, ahora hay dos, uno que tira recto y otro que va para allá. No, sí, claro. Vale, derecho, a la derecha, sí. Super meta. <laughs> Yeah, Yoba. Okay, my turn. Fuck. Oh. oh, that's a bottom out. Oh, it's pretty big stuff. Getting dropped here. Getting dropped. That's not good. Y si quieres, según giras, la senda pasa recto, pero hay como hay, como hay una es piedra que puedes pegar un big bulls. por la piedra, ¿vale? Pero es para abajo. ¿Vale? Dale, dale, dale. Venga, Jackie. Qué mal rollo, tío, pasar por aquí. The big bikes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go the big bikes. Ooh. Estamos bien? Seguro? The old man's got to slow down a little bit. Jackie's 52 and he crashes a lot. But he never hurts himself. So he's obviously very good. Hey, let's go. Let's get the rhythm back. One crash. I don't want to crash. Say rocks aren't really my favorite type of trails. I'm more flowy, jumpy. But it is beautiful. Ah, here's a bit of dirt. old codes, the guidos are warming up. They're not bad. A bit of pre compare now. But look at that guys. So beautiful. Oh it's pretty big. Oh, we got some tight switchbacks here. Now we're looking. Oh, I mean, that might be the fullback of the of the swoop. It's very long. Oh, tight switchbacks on a 29er. Pretty hard. I'm not saying it's the bike. It's probably me. But. Sharp ass rocks here. Yeah, Yoba. Sí, este es difícil. El otro, vete a saber, igual, pero ahora divina. Luego en el mapa a lo mejor podemos estudiarlo. Pasa. Yeah, Jackie was right. This is pretty gnarly stuff. I'd say it's definitely the most technical stuff I've ridden in, in Madrid. 
and pretty big consequences as well. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely gnarly. Might need new brake pads after this. Okay, got a nice open downhill. Oh, that was good. Oh, nice twist back. Bit of rock garden. A little bit of more rock garden, but nice. Nice. This is a bit of a flowy. Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh, right yeah boy You'll be setting a blinding pace Yeah, está abajo de todo ¿Qué tal bien? Yeah Bueno, es muy bonita La vista es Vamos Vamos Ah, oh, this is better, nice open, a little bit rocky. Just make my own lines there. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, tight is pretty tight here. Definitely the swoops at home at speed feel safer going faster. Nice Jackie. Well, I think that's it. Yahoo! <laughs> Right. Bien Jackie, we made it home in one piece. Okay, so we finished the ride, ended pretty well. No, well, there's one crash with Jackie. Uh, it's Atatha, I think. I'll give you the spelling and the actual address. Um, look, it was a fun track. Um, not really my cup of tea. It was kind of a lot of rocks and uh, I don't know, kind of dangerous sharp rocks as well. Um, but it was good, it, it was probably the most dangerous uh, place and hardest place I've ridden in Madrid. Uh, but saying that, probably not the most funnest. I would have given, I give it probably maybe a three, three and a half out of five. Anyway, I'm gonna give you the full review of the bike this afternoon when I get home. Okay guys, so we just finished the ride in Atatha, which is about one hour north of Madrid. And it was a great ride. Um, my friend Jackie told me that it was it was pretty much uh, a, um, the hardest ride in the Sierra, and it, it was, it was pretty hard. It, maybe not exactly what I would like. It was a lot of rocks. It was um, it, pretty damn uh, difficult. I'd have to say we all got down safely, had a couple of beers, and now we're on our way home. And we have this beautiful light here. So it's a quick review. Uh, it's not the full review, it's 100 Ks. It's actually about 150 Ks on the Radon Swoop. Uh, 2019, 29er, 10. Uh, look, I'm very happy with the bike at the moment. Made a few changes, 
changed the front tire at the front uh, to a Minion DHR and uh, back wheel uh, for the Magic Mary look I know that's a little bit strange um, but you know I didn't really have much reason to I mean I, I want to use this tire it probably will wear out quite quickly but I find it pretty good on the back I've always been a fan of the Minions and that is more personal choice because I mean I'm learning a new bike I know the Minion so that's why I changed it and uh, what else drop the stem down low um, the sizing on the bike, you know, quite a few of you have been asking about the sizing. I bought the 19, I'm 181 centimeters, um, and I and the reach on the 19 is 473 centimeters. It's a big bike, but to be honest, uh, I'm not an engineer, I've got really, but um, it feels short. The bike feels more like a 450, a 460, and maybe that has to do something with the horse link, um, but I, I don't, I don't really know, but I'm going to change the stem out to a 50 um, and, and also bring the spaces up and let's see if that's if I sit a bit better. At the moment, it does feel a little short, which surprises me a lot. I thought it would be too big. Um, what else? Uh, suspension's pretty much set up. Uh, the, the Fox 36 and the X2 at the back. Look, it was pretty difficult to set up. I spent a day doing that. Watched a few YouTube videos, so thanks other YouTubers. Um, all in all, very impressed with the bike. Um, only thing is the, the sizing. You know, if you're at 180, 181, something like that, I would be thinking about, and if you like a, a large bike, I'd be thinking about the 21. Um, but that's really up to you. And uh, I'm gonna do my four 500K review next week. I plan to go to Malaga uh, for four days to do some full-on testing. And then I'll do my nice glossy magazine review so thanks for watching guys and uh, any questions hang on thanks for watching guys any questions hit me up I'm happy to answer anything I'm here to help um, and subscribe hit the like button and thanks a lot guys have a great day See ya.